Alright, so we have a Jamaica iguana here. And they release him. We're going to deal with the biggest myth everybody always asks us is what is the function of these guys in the environment? So why do we need to protect them? So this is our iguana here. Cyclura coolieri. It's a rock iguana. Critically endangered. And one of the cool stuff about this guy is there's a lot of plants here in the dry forest. Um, some of them are endemic. Some of them only found here. So this guy is mainly a herbivore. So a lot of the trees here produce seeds and for the seeds to germinate it has to go through herbivores like these guys. So what happened? It goes through his stomach, break down some of the other stuff with manure. He run up and down in some place and he do him thing and then the tree grow. So if we don't have these guys, we might have some plants here that you won't find that will totally just dead out after a while. And tell so, them why it's good for the for plants and trees to grow. And the reason why it's good, well, the thing I you don't know, this dry forest Celsia is one of the oldest dry forests in the Caribbean, and it produce it provide carbon, it provide oxygen. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of special plants. Some of them might be medicinal. So this is the reason why we protect. You now some of you I look at the boy lizard. Yeah, he plays a very important role. So that why. We put in a lot of resources and see everybody around here deal with it. So we're going to let go. Um, I think I can call her Queenie. Mm. 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 Terrorist mm. name that you gave me. Peace.